All right, guys, I am finished fiberglassing the bilge and the back hull in. Uh, got some engine support there, new stringers, new supports. I fiberglass these in just to keep them uh, waterproof. But this is everything uh, glassed in now. Everything's tied together. New stringers to the old stringers. Rotten wood's gone. I did some filling here on the floor just to make everything flush. And I, I sealed all along there to the cabin, both sides. And I, uh, I laid some, some fiberglass channels down, directing everything down from either side to the center for everything to drain back to the drain hole. Had everything in back here as well. This is this wood was pretty good. I just uh, reinforced it, just coated it with more fiberglass. My main uh, rotten pieces were were mainly this one. Uh, this one had some rot in it, but it's I just did all all four of these just to keep everything symmetrical, same weights and strengths, whatnot. So anyway, what I want to talk to you guys about today is, is sanding with fiberglass. So, real world, okay, we're not boat builders, right? We're just, we're throwing fiberglass down, we're mixing epoxy, we're brushing it out, rolling it out, whatever we got. Um, what I found the best way to do that is, um, you don't necessarily have to wet out all the way to the edges. Um, you can, there's nothing wrong with that, but you don't have to. Say this is getting out of your, out of your repair area here. Um, you can leave that frayed and come back and sand it off later. You're going to have to sand this anyway, just to have some paint stick to it because it, it dries, the epoxy dries so slick that the uh, paint, it, it has no tooth. It's got no grit to hold on to. So you want to come back and sand it anyway. Um, because uh, the, the epoxy finish is just, I mean, it's glass smooth. So anyway... I left those frays. I don't have a problem with them. I know I'm gonna sand it. If you do come in and, and, and wet the entire edge out and, and epoxy and dab glue into the hull, that's fine too. Then you, then you don't have the frays to worry about sanding away, but you still have to sand it. So it's not really like you're saving any steps or anything. But um, what I also wanna tell you guys, see these pieces, th these frays are just epoxy down they're sanded sanded smooth but they but i did end up epoxying these right right to the uh to the fiberglass sheets there all together so nothing was frayed or hanging there but you see i still had to sand them because uh it's all you know so slick so you gotta come back and do, do some more here because this is still a little too shiny for my liking i want to dull that up so so the paint has some tooth to get into uh, but this is what I want to talk to you guys about today. The, what I found the easiest way to pick up one of these tools, multi-tools from Harbor Freight. It's about 25 bucks. It doesn't come with any attachments really. Um, so you'd have to buy a one of these triangle Velcro uh, sandpaper holders and get a few packs of these. When I say a few, get like three packs of these because you run through them pretty quick. And it comes off, all this stuff sands and, and, and these frays come off pretty easy. Watch, check this out. piece of sandpaper I've been using um, it still cut through those those frays pretty quickly there as you can see and uh, and that's that's what you do you just go across everything and, and like I said my, my plan is to sand everything anyway so the frays in there really doesn't matter if they're epoxy glued down or not um, 
this, this, this guy just comes through and, and cuts everything smooth. So that's, that's, that's how you do it, guys. I couldn't find a, a proper video online explaining the process. But I like this multi-tool because, look, corners, you get right in there, boom, 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 right up against the edges. Um, this triangle head shape makes it pretty, pretty nice to get in these corner shapes and sand everything, sand everything out. All right, guys. Thanks for listening, and I will update you on the project as I go along. Bye.